Hello everyone, welcome to today's topic. On today's topic, I'm going to be talking about freedom of body, mind and soul. I still remain your one and only Adan Newe Adan Dibo. Welcome to today's topic. I'm going to be mixing both English language and Igbo language for the sake of our brothers and sisters who are one of us but they don't understand Igbo language. It will be very good of us to carry everybody along so that we all will flow together. So when I talk about freedom of body, mind and soul, I am talking about reuniting with your mother nature, reuniting with the universe, knowing who you are, knowing your lineage, discovering your ancestral lineage. That is exactly what I'm talking about. If you are here and you, you've never for once recognized your mother nature, you, that you, you've never experienced the kind of freedom of body, mind, and soul we are talking about today. Like, what, are, what am I trying to say? When you, are, when you talk of freedom of body, mind, and soul, it is only when you have recognized your ancestral lineage, your ancestral power, that you will be able to experience the kind of freedom of body, mind, and soul we are talking about here because that is only way you can know or discover the hidden truth behind your african culture behind your african tradition in this african tradition we are talking about we have different kinds of tradition depending on the area you are coming from in Igbo land we deal with ancestral powers we call it ndi chie in Igbo language when you do not know your ndi chie when you have not appeased your ndi chie when you are not in good in good terms with your ancestral home you will stand to lose a lot of things both spiritually and physically the blood that flows through your your vein automatically explains who you are or who you are talking about most of us here yeah, when you talk about of ancestral power ancestral lineage most of all will start like saying god forbid may god forbid back to sender holy ghost fire when you are saying holy ghost fire to the ancestral lineage it seems is as if you are saying holy ghost fire to yourself because if you are here and you feel like you do not believe or trust on anything that concerns ancestral power that means you shouldn't recognize that your piece of land in the village that is just the simple truth about that if you think that when you hear any mention of ancestral power you will say holy ghost fire are you going to drain your blood out of your vein because that is what makes you that is who you are we are the children of the land we are the children of the soil try as much as possible to recognize this modern nature we are talking about and if you have not recognized the modern nature if you do not know anything about your ancestral lineage you don't know anything about your ancestral home you have not experienced this kind of freedom of body mind and soul we are talking about you can only be free from captivation if you choose to listen to the drum beats of the ancestral home that has been calling you to come back. There are a lot of things our ancestors left behind for us to continue from where they stopped. But we have chosen to do what? To throw those things away. And automatically we have been facing the consequences one after the other. This is an Igbo language. Nobody will say that the soup which the mother prepares is not sweet. Our forefathers lived with herbs and roots in the olden days. They were able to live healthy. Most of them crossed hundred and something years. They were waxing very strong and healthy. Most of them stayed up to 124 years, 120 years, 150 years. But in this our new generation, you can hardly, the highest you can see is 90, 80, 70. You will still call to glory. Have you ever asked questions by yourself? How were they able or how did they manage to live such a long life? Let us try to recognize back that roots and herbs that our ancestors used to survive in the olden days like in my village 
It was like magic, but that is just the simple truth. Recognize who you are. Go back home. Your land is calling you. If you say over your dead body, that means that you shouldn't be fighting over that piece of land. That, that small piece of the land that they left for you, you shouldn't be fighting over it because that is part of ancestral home. If you do not know your Ndichi, which is in Igbo language, in English language, it should be ancestral home. If you don't know anything about your ancestral home, you are not in peace with your ancestors. You have not recognized your ancestors. You have not appeased them in the way it should be done. Then you have not experienced this kind of freedom that we are talking about. If you do not know your reincarnator, the person who reincarnated you, if you do not know your marinas, if you do not know your niyowa, you have not experienced this kind of freedom we are talking about. I might be sounding very funny to some people, but those who are willing to hear and understand and experience what I'm talking about, most of us here know exactly what I'm saying here. Go back home. Go and reunite with the mother nature. Enough is enough. The universe is calling you. Our land is calling you. Go back and listen to what your ancestors have in bulk for you. Go back and listen to them. Go back to your ancestral home. Go and search for your ancestral staff. Without that ancestral staff, as an Igbo man or as an Igbo child, you are not going anywhere. That is why most of our brothers and sisters are experiencing downfall, both in their business, in their career, in their place of work, in their life. All you experience in your life is rise and fall. Have you ever taken time to ask yourself that question? What could be the reason of this rise and fall? Tomorrow you will be higher. Before, in the next 15 minutes, you will just go back to the bottomless bottom. Have you ever taken time to ask yourself question? You've been praying for more than 20 years, yet you still experience that kind of rise and fall. My brother, my sister, if you are an African child, go back to your roots. The mother nature is calling us today. Go back to your roots. Go back to that drum beat of our ancestors. They are beating this drum so fast. Go and listen to what they have to say to you. Go back to what your ancestors have left behind. When I'm telling you to go back to your ancestors, I shouldn't mean you should go back and continue from the bad which they have done with nature. I mean continue with the good ones. It is left for you to choose the good ones and leave the bad ones behind. But go back to roots and hearts. Go back to the modern nature go back to our land the modern land is calling us when a child is born is left for a that parent the parents to ask who is this person that has come back to our family these days you see nothing like that again and so many people are facing the consequences we should go back to who we are who we are we are nature we work with nature we don't live life anyhow. Most people are experiencing bad luck. Most people are experiencing setback. When you talk of negative energy, something must have caused that negative energy. Something must be the reason for that bad aura you are having. Go back to your village and ask why. Go back to your village and find out how your people do their own things. Go back to who you are. That is what the mother nature is telling us. Most of us here, we come from the rivers. We, we are mariners. We have decided to ignore that drum beat. We are experiencing bad luck. You've been praying for more than decades now, yet you are not seeing any good news. Why can't you ask yourself, what is happening? Should I take a U-turn? Someone will die in your family today. You will start saying God brought the person and God has taken the person back. Is premature death your portion? In the olden days, when I was very small, when something bad happens in the family, when someone dies, 
there must be a cause. You will see some elders in the family. They will select themselves one after the other. They will go in search of what has happened to the person. They will try to solve that problem before that person will be buried so that next person will not die or what happened to the, that person will, will not happen to the next person in that family. These days, nobody cares. Everybody chose to live his or her own life the way he or she wants. And we are facing the consequences. As an African child, as an Igbo child, you are not meant to behave anyhow. We are cultured people. Go back to your culture. Go back to your culture. Go back to your tradition. Tradition is calling us back. We should listen to that drum beat. Go back to that tradition. If you see somebody with nzu, white chalk, African white chalk, you will label that person a sinner or a native doctor. Sometimes we speak English, but we do not understand the kind of English we are speaking. Medical doctor simply means DBO. So why must you label someone with nzu? Nzu simplifies purity. You can never use nzu to do any bad thing. But these days, when we see someone with Nzu, we will label that person evil. Why should it be like that? Because we have chosen to forget the ways of our ancestors. Today, our mothers will give birth to a baby and that baby will be Dada. The mother will start saying over her dead body. Do you know the meaning of Dada? If you have Dada in your house, you should be happy because the God has blessed you with a mighty child. Go back to your roots. Our roots is calling us back. Our land is calling us back. Go and cleanse the land so that we will start with the mother nature. Do this and experience change in your life. But when you are doing that, be careful. Makananti mechanic in Ozinafia too much. Be very careful who you follow. Like I said, go back to your mother nation. I will keep saying it. Our ancestral home is calling us back. Most of us, we do not know how to pray with Nzu and Ojibu. We don't know how. Then why are you an Igbo person? Go and watch it. Your marriage will start expiring. If you way well, Uncoacha ne me anumti na unye bona. Uncoacha is nature. Ode may be a maybe. Mba ho bakala bakali. It has entered another stage of life. Umwa fibo une dizina unwaino e me anumudi na unye. Okwesi le okwesi. Some people would would do their a traditional marriage abroad why should it be so when you do your traditional marriage abroad go and mark it today that marriage stands a clash in the future because your ancestors your ancestral land is not aware of that marriage your ancestral home is not aware of that marriage go back home our mother nature, our land is calling us back. I am singing it like a song. Go back home. That is the message for today. Go back home and experience the freedom of body, mind, and soul. You are here. You are a firstborn of the family. You are a man. You don't know anything about your ndichie. You are not going anywhere in life. That is just the simple truth. Whosoever will tell you will tell you. But many people wouldn't want to tell you because they wouldn't want you to know what they know. Yet you complain of hardship. Go back and it doesn't stop you from going to church. Go and do that which they have bestowed on you to do. Go and do what you are supposed to do as an as an African child.
Je ki sielu ndi che ben nagi ite. Sielu hite. Je mwa yuku neki je tu hafa je sielu hite. Isi chalu hite je boy yo wa meife do na je ki. Go and install your agu. Tell me why you will not be moving forward in this life. That is who we are. We deal with nature. We don't do anyhow in life. That is what makes us the Igbos. But we have chosen to ignore the road which our ancestors have taken in the past. We are behaving anyhow. Today, those spiritual entities that fought for our forefathers, they are calling us back. They want us to recognize them so that they will fight for us. Go and recognize your maternal home. Most of us, Amalu Zoeseji Kunneha. It's a very bad and shameful act. Most of us today, we don't know the road to our maternal home. Makanandi Bokuloku, where to all your ninus non abos such a matter, or nigh you couldn't. So, if you do not know the road to your mother home, how do you expect to succeed in this life? That is the freedom I'm talking about today. Because if you are not moving forward, if your business is doing rise and fall, you are not free. You don't have freedom. You are captivated. If your marriage is experiencing fall, rise and falling, you are captivated. You don't have freedom in your marriage. If your career is stagnant, standing one place, you do not have freedom in your career. You are captivated in your career. If you have not recognized your destiny, you are not free. If you have not recognized the spiritual entities that is backing you up from your ancestral home, you are not yet free. You are still captivated. Go back to your ne mother nature. I still remain your one and only Adan Newi Adan Dibo. Thank you for having me for today. Watch out for another video. Thank you very much. Bye.